Ever since I was a child, I've been in awe of the images of the River Mersey framing the three graces on its banks. As a Kirby kid, I used to travel into the city centre by bus and take a ride on the famous Mersey ferries. As a young man, I was a self-employed builder and travelled to all four corners of our area trying to find work. So now as Metro Mayor, you can guess that it's an absolute privilege to serve the 1.6 million people of what I truly believe is the best region in the world. It was a massive honour to have been re-elected with such an overwhelming mandate to continue to deliver for our region. During my election campaign, it was obvious that on the doorstep, people in every part of the region had started to recognise the difference that devolution was making. In the last four years, we've been able to show the tangible difference we can make, creating more than 9,000 jobs, 5,500 apprenticeships, and investing hundreds of millions of pounds in every part of our region. And stepping up to protect our economy from coronavirus, the biggest challenge facing the planet since the Second World War. But now we need to deliver even more and faster. In my first term, we built the machinery to start delivering. And can I thank you all for your brilliant efforts? I'm genuinely grateful. But this term is about ensuring we're firing on all cylinders and accelerating delivery. Look, we're, we're very lucky. We have the chance to write the next chapter in our region's long and storied history and make a difference to the lives of those 1.6 million people who call our region home. How many people can say they have the chance to do that? So, we hit the ground running. On day one, I unveiled our £150 million COVID recovery fund, and this will help give our region a head start on our post-pandemic recovery. And much is already happening. We're taking back control of our transport network, making it cheaper, quicker, and more reliable to get about our region. We are testing our new £500 million publicly owned trains. We're continuing the process to re-regulate our buses and you'll have seen our active travel network growing to encourage more people into walking and cycling. I want our transport to connect people with each other and with opportunity. So it needs to be integrated and be cleaner and greener. And our region is uniquely positioned to lead in that green industrial revolution too, so that we can create and attract some of the many thousands of new jobs and apprenticeships that will be formed. From our Mersey Tidal project, which has the potential to power one million homes, to our retrofitting and community environmental schemes. We're doing all we can locally to save our planet. Climate emergency is the greatest existential threat to us all and we will be showcasing our plans to become net zero carbon at COP26 in Glasgow later this year. We need to ensure we're all playing our part so that there will be a better future. And that's where our digital connectivity project comes in. It's 212 kilometers of fiber optic cable and it's now going into the ground, meaning we can capitalize on future innovation. And talking about building a better and brighter future, we're also giving hope to our young people. My young person's guarantee is a promise of a job, apprenticeship or training opportunity to under 25s within six months of them leaving school or becoming unemployed. Too many of them feel like they've been left behind, not because they lack talent, but because they lack opportunity. I know from my own personal experience the value of someone taking a chance on you and providing proper training. So I want all our young people to be given a similar chance to succeed and reach their full potential. Look, the last year has been an extraordinary challenging time for us all, but I remain optimistic about our region's prospects moving forward. Our plans are rightly ambitious and we have enthusiasm by the bucket load. Together, we can build a region that is stronger, fairer, greener, and more socially just, with no one left behind.